So I began to clean up the head a bit before we check on everything else. I'm going to be cleaning up all the parts soon. But I was sanding down some parts here to get it out of the way using my God Hands 400 grit. And I actually had this uh, sanding paper 3M 400. That's just a little more better. But now we need to figure out the um, this, the the part for the placing of the LED. I actually peeled off the this since it's no longer needed. And I wanted to make a sizable hole for me to put the LED light, whether it's going to be the round LED light or a single one. Um, most likely I may decide to use this, but it's it's going to be tough sell. I may have to find a way to bend this so I can stick it in there. If not, I'll have to use the smaller one. But then again, that smaller dot thing is not probably going to show well uh, by itself. It still needs a, a clear lens of some sort. Fortunately, I've had these little lenses from the um, from the option part line. And I have one that should be perfect right there. Absolutely perfect. So first things first, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on an angle. Actually, let's, let's put this back again. So, it has a, a kind of like a 45 degree angle turn. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep it in one angle so that way the light source can go through properly because there is a um, split there and I don't want to damage that. I'm going to use my pin vise. I forgot which brand this is. Oh yeah, it's actually from Wave. There we go. And we're going to eyeball it right, what is that, alright, there we go, so, there you go, there you go, I'm going to use the knife first just to eyeball it properly, but I think, that's a little too high. It has to be a little center. I don't want it too high of the of there. Um, where is my hobby knife? I think what I'll do is go, go like that. Whoops. A little too far. through but I'm going to increase the size this one doesn't seem to want to stick in I don't know why these um, uh, we have a little one here but I want I like this one number 14 so let's go the next size up uh, oh this doesn't fit here come on this is actually the brand for this oh, okay you have to pull it up that's right This may hurt. Oh. You know what? I can't even drag it, grab it properly because this thing is too tight. Ooh. 
I wish I had like a clamp to hold on to this because this is actually going to hurt unless I do let's see if I do that to hold it there come on come on slow we gotta do it slow not fast it widened up a bit and it actually bent the the plastic, but that's actually not bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hobby knife and I have a sanding stick, which I can actually stick in there and begin sanding it down and then sand the side of it and then I will get the the glass on it, the, the um, sorry, uh, clear part on it see how it looks. So give me a few moments while I take care of that. Okay, so I just finished putting on the LED lights on these parts. Now this one was a bit of a chore to put on because there was nothing behind her to hold up the LED. So what I, uh, or if I glued it on, I didn't know how well it was going to hold on. So what I did was I put a piece of plot plate, uh, styrene sheet there and I super glued the part and I'm actually going to see how well this falls down. If not, I'm going to have to gut that a bit. Uh, oh, no, it actually fell in pretty well. Good. That's good. Okay. I was under the impression that this was not going to fit properly, but we're going to test this out soon enough. Um, unfortunately, the when I was putting on the glue, a little bit of a haze is showing through the... Um, clear part so I'm sorry I'm not I mean I like these little these little clips but I kind of need to buy more of these these are a lot easier we're gonna but yeah so th this came out okay this kind of okay um fine um, and then that way I can figure a way to funnel it down to the body this one was a bit of a chore and what I did was I actually changed the actual um, let uh, glass piece because what I did was let me zoom in here so you can see this. I took the <clears throat> the pin vise. I chose the uh, second uh, the second one, and I drilled the hole because remember there was a little notch in between that. And then putting on, if I was going to put the LED light as is, uh, it, the light will co will go through as the th uh, uh, through that little weird slit. And I didn't like that. So what I did was I cut this, uh, I drilled a hole in it, cleaned it up a bit. I used those, um, the same, same part of these, uh, you know, um, clear parts here. And then super glued it, which took me a hard time to get it on there. I actually purchased this because somebody told me that this is actually good for insecure, super thin um, glue. But it wasn't actually working with the wiring and the plastic um, so I had to use Gorilla Glue um, Gorilla Super Glue and after a few moments it did it did settle in fine I want to test this and I'm gonna try a, a, a trick I don't know if this will work uh, well, well testing it let's try this here and I put this one there whoops it's either not catching or oh, yeah there's oh you know why because all right, I know why Let's try that again. <clears throat> Come on, get in there. There we go. So there's the LED light there for that. And obviously when the 
thing is closed up, it'll look even better. So that one's good. Now we're going to try the same trick, but with this guy. Somebody mentioned that these batteries are not a very good idea to use, and, you know, it, it, I beg to differ, it depends on what you do, or where to put it on, or how to put it on. There we go. There we go. So this one worked as well. I just need to remove, I didn't glue it on yet, I need to remove it so I can actually, there's that little notch here which was meant for this one here to make it go left and right this doesn't have that because it doesn't need that but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to utilize this part here to make a little hole and then funnel the wiring under here so it goes under that this one's fine because it goes to the side and I'm probably going to do maybe I can actually squeeze it in there yeah just realizing it just looking at it and I see there's enough gapping gap in it you know here and there for me to do that with this one, I think I'm going to be able to do it. So, okay. There we go. So right now, I'm just going to continue. Uh, the lighting is done, or the gluing of the light is done. I just now have to continue on uh, sanding down the parts and then detailing it up a little bit more. All right, so some of the parts I began sanding down. It takes a while to get some of the stuff off, but... Look here, there's this little notch that I can't tell whether it worked or not. I hit it a couple of times. Let's see if that worked. Using the 400 and then using... Well, this is technically 400, but I think it's now done... It's been relegated to 600. Because uh, it's now a little bit smooth, smoother. Let's see how it looks here. Yeah, it looks good. I don't see anything going on there. All right. Yeah, so this is going to be painted all one color, and then I'll, I'll mask off everything to paint the inside of this because this is going to be a pain to do all this. This one, I'll leave that alone. I'm thinking maybe. Um, well, I just didn't realize it. Well, the head's going to be covering all this up, so I don't have to worry about that. That's done, that's done. Let me see the, the leg again. Oh, thank you. Okay, be very careful. The single cigar is about to pop off. So this one comes off there easily. Fine. That's fine. And then this one, fine. And now I just gotta begin to sand these guys down. I had a bigger sponge, but I think I think mine's already worn out, so I'm gonna be using the smaller God Hands ones. Um, I am gonna show off something here first. Um, back to the arm. So there was this detail part that was there. Which, unfortunately, because of, uh, of the scene line, I, lo I, I lost it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be getting a um, styrene sheet to actually cut it to the, to the design that it was originally and glue it on later on. We'll do that later on, not now. This is so annoying to do all this. I'm glad that the LED lights came out fine. Let me get the sanding stick here. This one's a little bit easier.
Yeah, that looks good. There is a bit of a part there that I will have to get to in a minute. This is the one that I'm kind of more worried about. So I'm going to have to do, like, do this very... I'm going to do this for, for at least a good five minutes. But i got to try to make sure I don't damage it. Because sometimes when you're sand, when you're sanding down, if you if you like get in a, uh, a moment where you're like you're bending to your hand to the left or the right, and then you may warp the part from one side to the other if you don't be if you're not extra careful. That's not a big deal if it's a if it's a solid part like a sorry not a solid part like a straight part something that's completely 90 degree, uh, you know in a straight angle. It's when you have something like this a curvature that's the issue right there. See, like you could still see it there and that's annoying so you yeah, also change up on the on this on the sponges and I gotta do this four times by the way this is something that yeah I mean there's some detail here that they could have easily done the same um, the same construction that they did with them with the uh, regular Zaku the, the high-grade Zaku and I think even the origin Zaku's have that feature let me just do this for a second I think that's it yeah I'm gonna where is my tack oh here it is Yeah, you still see the seam line there. So I gotta continue doing this until the seam line is completely and utterly gone on both sides. Alright. This is gonna take some time to clean up all these parts. You know, obviously this guy and of course the, uh, the uh, sniper one was de definitely identical. And then uh, I'll get him ready for painting. So let me just continue on with this, alright?